Well, um, welcome to Sea Fishing with CJ. And um, we're down doing something slightly different again today. We're not fishing, we're filming fish. So I'm down here with my good friend Steve. Hi, uh, morning. Yeah, morning. And we've got a chuffing great long pole with a camera light, with a light, with a camera on the end of it. I've got a light to go on there, we might try to light a bit. Don't want to speak the fish initially. And we've come to film the thin lip mullet. I don't know if you can see in there, but there are 600, 600 yeah, easy. Six, I mean, we, we did this last year, and there was a fraction of this here last year. So maybe this is a portend that this year I will catch that bloody mullet. Got the, uh, we've got the camera pole in the water down there and I'm not sure if you're going to see this on this camera or not but there's just a cloud of mullet here and there's just, well, Steve reckon 600 I would think it's probably more than that definitely between 600 and 1000 fish here now as I say we came down here last year and there was a fraction of this number So I'm hoping that this portends that we're going to have a good mullet season this year. Now we don't know what it is and why they're doing it. We believe that these are fresh spawned mullet that have come back into the river systems after being out at sea. And um, they are, they, they've got a lot of um, parasites which they picked up out at sea. So they come back in here and then they bathe in this pool of clean, fresh water, which is coming from, which is essentially a chalk stream out here. And they just bathe in the fresh water and the fresh water <laughs> cures them of their, of their parasites. I mean, is that, and of course, the other thing is that a, a fish, any fish that lives in fresh water and salt has has a real issue about managing its hydration. Um, so sea fish can't live in fresh water because they're, they're designed to live in salt water. Basically, a sea fish has to drink fluids, has to absorb fluid constantly because it, it's, it loses, loses its bodily fluids through its, its skin, uh, through its um, membranes to the salt water. Whereas a freshwater fish is the other way round. It, its blood, its, its, its fluids are more um, saline and so it absorbs water through its skin and through its membranes. And so it has to um, flush itself constantly, otherwise it will become waterlogged. So if you've got a fish like the mullet who goes out to sea, he's a sort of jack of all trades, I suspect that when he's out at sea, he becomes quite de dehydrated. And so when he comes back into the fresh water system, he's going to want to hydrate. So he's going to get himself into some fresh water like this and, and gradually reabsorb the fluids into his body um, and rehydrate. So I think, I think personally, and I've got no evidence of this. What's that? There's that one. Oh. White spots here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. It's yeah, yeah, I see it. Right, there is a fish amongst these fish that has got um, a parasitic worm latched onto its cheek. I can see it's very, very white. Uh, it's moved away from us at the moment, but it'd be nice if we can get a close-up of it. Maybe we could go up onto the uh, onto the sluice gate. The fish are a little bit shy. They are holding back from the camera at the moment. We, 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 we will eventually try putting a um, a, can, a light on it, on it, but I don't want to spook the fish until we've made sure we've got some good footage. So, um, absolutely fascinating, unbelievable the amount of fish that's in here. Again, I don't know if you can see this, 
on this camera, whether it, it gets through the sheen of the water properly or not. But there is a massive school of fish. I'm literally just holding up my hand to this pole, I'm conscious if I get cold hands it'll suddenly slip out of my hand and I have to go for a swim. Now quite, what quite often happens is um, the local seal population become aware of this here because it's obviously it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy, easy meal uh, and we do get some seals up here, there's no sign of them yet and you also get the old pike as well they come up and sit but I mean pike eats one of these, these, these mullet I would think that's it fed for quite a while They are getting, they are getting uh, less scared of the camera, they're getting closer, aren't they? Okay, well, I'm going to leave you with, with, the, with the fish. We'll, uh, we'll uh, let that run for a little while. It's just amazing. It's one of the wonders of the world. Lampreys um, are a, an interesting fish. They, they, a bit like salmon, spend part of their life out at sea and then come back into the rivers to uh, spawn. Now, they, they are a parasitic fish. They, they latch on to their host species um, with a, a sucker that is um, lined with spikes and then they have a rasping tongue so they're able to rasp a hole into the flank of their host so that they can then drink the uh, blood and um, fluids of the host. Um, it's, it, it's hard to say whether the ones that we're seeing here are ones that have hitched a lift on the mullet back from the sea into the rivers or whether these are young um, lampreys that um, have been spawned in the area uh, up the Winterbourne would be an ideal spawning site for them. Um, they then spend about four years under the un, in, in the mud, in the silt, uh, living off silt, and then they, when they mature, they become carnivorous. So it's every possibility that they they are sitting here waiting for the mullet to turn up, um, so that they can start their carnivorous life. So anyway, who knows? But not a very pleasant fish, but interesting nonetheless. Well, we had a little bit of an experiment. I've put a light on down here, but as soon as we put the light in the water, they all moved away from it. So um, we turned the light off. The light's still on the on the end of the pole, but it's not on. And and straight away they're back. They're back. So um, yeah, their numbers are dwindling a little bit now. Um, there's, there's probably half the number of the when we first got here. But that's because the the, the the tide is dropping and it's getting shallower. But. There's kind of the tail end Charlies down there that can't quite get in. Now, there will be those amongst you saying, why am I not fishing? And the point is, we're not going to fish here. It, this, is, this is like their doctors, so you, you don't go hunting people when they're at the doctors, do you? So, um, not that I go hunting people, you know what I mean. Um, it's just to make them well, so that when we do go fishing for them, they're going to be healthy fish. I would imagine actually that they're not feeding anyway so even if you did try putting a lure in they wouldn't be interested in it because there's no sign of feeding behaviour they're just bathing in this plume of fresh water there's, there's one coming and geeking a camera again have you seen that a parasite I don't know if you get it in our waters but in tropical waters they get a, a parasite that comes along and, and eats the fish's tongue and then replace, replaces the tongue and, and then spends the rest of its life living in the mouth of the fish yeah. as its tongue. I think my mother-in-law's got that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's been a slide on. 
Yeah, I see it. It's interesting we see the fish sort of striking the sides on like that. Um, again, probably trying to, to knock off parasites. Certainly not feeding behaviour. I mean, it might, it might be my impression, and we'll see when we see the video, but these look a lot healthier than they did last year. They, look, you know, they, were, they were all a bit hollow-sided last year. It's like, like big ribbons of them go stretching out into the water. Like they're queuing up and take, to take the turn. Yeah, they go round and round to the right. Yeah. That's the... Um the BBC were filming it, they did a, like a one hour time lapse. Right. And you can see them then going round and round and waving about. That's yeah. How, that's how the nicknames of the mullet numeration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I could perhaps do a time lapse. I think you'll agree that this is amazing. Um, I, I hope you're enjoying this. I will put it out on YouTube, it will be out on my Sea Fishing channel and it will also be on my Wildlife channel. So if you haven't found my Wildlife channel, it is Hooked on Life with CJ, or CJ's Hooked on Life actually. Um, check it out, I do put wildlife stuff out there. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please um, subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell so you get notifications of, of new uh, videos that I'm putting out and you know leave me a comment I do reply to all the comments that I get so you know if you want to say or ask or anything like that then please feel free to do it